What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 46th jailbreak update video and in this episode we're going to be talking all about once again the ios 11 jailbreak as well as the ios 10.3 jailbreak and clearing up a lot of confusion from the last episode so first of all if you haven't already watched episode 45 make sure to go ahead and watch that before watching this video it's up in the cards right now you can find it in the cards also down in the description below make sure you watch that video before you watch this video just so you're all caught up and know about everything that's been going on in the community as of late and of course make sure you are following me on twitter as well that link is also down in the description all right so let's go ahead and get right into this video. So first of all, no, Sorek has not updated Cydia or Mobile Substrate for iOS 11 yet, and I don't really know who expected it to be done so quick. This is not an easy job. I know Sorek's been doing this for a long time, but it's not easy even for him, and it takes time. So no, it hasn't been updated yet. Of course, I will be making a video when he does update it, as well as tweet about it on Twitter. So make sure you're following me you know, here on YouTube and also on Twitter to be notified exactly when that happens. And of course, there's no kind of ETA or anything like that. Sorek likes to work in private. He doesn't really post a lot on social media. So, you know, Reddit will be the first place he posts. So I'm checking over there. And of course, I will let you guys know when he says anything about it. But there's no ETA. I mean, it could be tomorrow. It could be March or April of 2018. We really just have no clue at this point. But just know that is the last thing we need before we should have a full-fledged jailbreak in our hands. And since so many people asked me in the comment section of episode 45, as well as DM me on Twitter, yes, this jailbreak will work for iOS 11.0 all the way through 11.1.2. So if you're on any of those versions in between, it will work for you. As far as the 10.3 jailbreak goes, that will work for 10.3 all the way through 10.3.3. And neither of these jailbreaks will be on tethered and once again we don't know when any of them will be released but it should be soon we're pretty much all the way there for both jailbreaks so hopefully that helps clear up some confusion that a lot of people seem to have back in episode 45 and speaking of the jailbreak null pixel one of the developers we're keeping an eye on just confirmed that the jailbreak from morpheus is stable so that's unlike yalu so apparently this jailbreak is stable which is great news because once again i don't think anybody wants another yalu and i'm not saying anything bad about luca tedesco at all i'm just saying that yalu was a very very unstable jailbreak but once once again, an unstable jailbreak is much better than no jailbreak at all. So I appreciate everything that Luca Tedesco has done. I don't want this to seem like it's a jab at him or anything like that. So a lot of people also ask me, you know, who's going to be releasing this jailbreak? And it's looking like it's going to come from Morpheus, aka Jonathan Levin. And if you guys remember, I actually talked with Jonathan Levin through DMs and I showed that here on the channel in a previous jailbreak update episode. So he's a very knowledgeable dude. This dude knows this stuff more than anybody I've seen in the community, maybe besides, you know, Luca Tedesco. So he's written a book and things like that. So Super knowledgeable dude, super cool dude. He can be a little bit serious at times, but really cool dude. So that's what it's looking like is going to be. That's that's who it looks like is going to be releasing this jailbreak via the jailbreak toolkit. And you can see here this jailbreak toolkit that he released is pretty interesting. And I'm going to have this full FAQ about this in the description below, which you should definitely read through if you want to know everything about the jailbreak toolkit. And as you can see from the tweet here, this IPA does not include Cydia, but of course that's something that could be easily added. We've already seen that multiple times from other people on Twitter and on GitHub. And he kind of mentions that here in this other tweet as well. And he talks about some of the other challenges that he's facing. You can see he says right here, why do people just fail to get that making Cydia execute on iOS 11 is the easy part? Getting third-party non-app store binaries to run, not through stuffing the trust cache, is one challenge, solvable, and getting tweaks running, problematic but solvable, that's where it is. So basically, that's exactly where we stand with this jailbreak. And speaking of jailbreaks, there is a, quote, jailbreak floating around out there. It's not really a full-fledged jailbreak, but it's a jailbreak floating around out there that absolutely nobody should be installing on their device. And that is the Epimetheus jailbreak from a shady developer who I'm not going to name here on the channel. But if you see this anywhere, definitely just avoid it at all costs. Now this jailbreak will install City on your device and give you root access and everything like that, but it comes from a shady developer that I would just not bother with. I mean, just wait for everybody else. There's no need to be impatient and try things out and end up messing up your device or get something on there that you can't remove. So just be patient and don't install anything you see online until I make a video on it or until I tweet about it on Twitter. Now we may not have a full-fledged jailbreak just yet, but we're getting some very interesting applications on our device now via IPA, thanks to Ian Beer's exploit. So today we got a new version of files with root access and this is actually different in many ways from the one that was released last week so if you installed that files definitely remove it and use this one now obviously if you don't know what you're doing inside the file system do not download this and don't mess with anything but it's really cool for those of you that know what you're doing and maybe you want to modify some system strings or something like that now you can't change you know you can't add themes in there you can't modify the springboard because there's no mobile substrate but it's really cool if you know what you're doing and if you don't even know what files is or you just really don't know what you're doing definitely do not download this 
because you could really mess your device up. And also Apple Beta has just released a version of Terminal called mTerminal Jailed. So this is gonna actually run on iOS 11 and it's pretty awesome. You can run basic commands, you know, like UI cache. If you guys have used Terminal before, if you've been jailbroken before, you know about mTerminal. It's gonna allow you to run UI cache and just some basic commands. So this is also really, really cool to have on a jailbroken, but not really jailbroken device. And once again, both Terminal and Files are jailbreak applications, but they're able to be run thanks to Ian Pierce exploit alone. So that was why it was so hyped on the channel. That's why everybody was so excited. We all knew how powerful it was. And that's the reason we even have this files and terminal and pretty much close to a jailbreak now. Of course, I will have links to download both those IPAs down in the description below. So definitely go ahead and try that out. Have some fun on your device again, if you know what you're doing. Now, there are also some ways to run tweaks out there on iOS 11. But again, I would avoid this unless you just really know what you're doing because you could end up messing your device up thanks to you know some of these animation tweaks, some of these you know resolution tweaks, you could really mess your device up if you don't know what you're doing. So if you see it going on out there, I know people have hit me up in DMs talking about, you know, how do I get this to work? You know, how do I get this tweak to work properly? But I would just avoid it, guys. So if you see anything about people talking about tweaks, just avoid it unless you know what you're doing. And there's a good chance you probably don't unless you're a developer. So the moral of the story is just be patient. You know, there's no need to jump the gun and try to get these tweaks running on your device before everybody else, you know, for whatever reason, just to show it off. So just be patient, wait for the full-fledged jailbreak then you can download as many tweaks as you want and use them as you please. So there you have it guys. That was pretty much just a follow-up video to episode 45. I wanted to answer some questions that a lot of people had. Also give you guys some updates as far as where we stand with the jailbreak right now. Once again, do not ask anybody on Twitter. Do not ask me at all for an ETA because I will let you guys know. Somebody will let you guys know when there is an ETA. But as of right now, don't ask anybody. Don't nag anybody on Twitter or anything like that. That's the last thing people want to hear is somebody asking when is it going to get released. But of course, if you guys have any other questions at all besides when is it going to get released or something I answered in this video already or episode 45, make sure to leave it down in a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe to be notified when this jailbreak comes out. Also, make sure you have that bell click so you get notified and get a push notification when it does come out so you can see it immediately. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.